Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Alvin. And I'm Theodore. And today is Tuesday, October 31st, 2023, and it is Halloween. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Want a way to show your gratitude to our troops? Make a holiday card and drop it off at the circulation desk in the media center. The media center has supplies set out so that you may use that you may use to create a card that will lift the spirits of our overseas troops that won't be home for the holidays. You don't even need an envelope. Some friendly guidelines. Please don't use glitter. They won't be able to be mailed if you do. You may sign any card with your first name, but please don't include your last name. All cards must be given to the Media Center by 3 p.m. on Monday, November 20th, so the mailing deadline can be met. Now over to Eleonora with the news. It's time for the news. Today is Halloween! The word Halloween or Halloween dates from before the 16th century and draws from its early Christian past. In the Old Scottish, Halloween translates to All Hallows Holy Even, referring to All Hallows Evening, the day before All Hallows Day, a solemn occasion in which all of the Catholic Church's heavenly saints were honored. By the 18th century, Halloween shows up with a spelling we know today. Halloween became popular in America in the 19th century, with enthusiasm for the holiday being brought across with the Irish and Scottish immigrants who were arriving at the time. The biggest change from Halloween's earliest roots is that it became more secular than religious. By the 1920s and 30s, Halloween party, parades and parties became a major part of the festivities, and the holiday was celebrated from coast to coast, regardless of racial or religious background. And now for a special message from our evil class president. Top of the morning, laddies. <laughs> I'm your evil class president, Breston Maybe Felt. I love King of Prussia in Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, and I hate robots. Now back to the main desk. The school counseling office is holding a contest to look for artwork to feature on the tw cover of the 2024-2025 course selection guidebook. If you're interested, please download a copy of the information sheet that has been posted to your Schoology news feed. The submission deadline is November 17th, so don't delay. Now over to lunch and Elvis with sports. What is Skeleton's favorite snack? I don't know, what is it? Ribs! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Today is October 31st. I'm Perry the Platypus, and my friend here is... I'm Golgi the Clown! And today for the lunch, we have spooky walking tacos. Fantasmic Papa John's. Spine-tingling crispy chicken wraps. Freaky yogurt with murderous muffin. Malicious barbecue chicken salad with evil beans. Supernatural Mexican corn with great tomatoes. And assorted flesh fruit. <laughs> we can only ask or wonder that he is asking some departed relative for forgiveness for this atrocious performance. I'm back from the dead. <laughs> Rifle open gyms will take place on November 2nd and 9th, starting at 6 p.m. Please meet Coach Smith in the front main lobby, and we will proceed to the range from there. Today, volleyball plays against Hemfield in the district tournament. Tomorrow, field hockey is in a semifinal at Northern York at 6. Friday, football will host Lower Dolphin at home. If you are planning on attending any of the home or away district playoff games, you must repurchase your tickets on the PIAA District 3 website. The link to buy tickets is posted in Schoology now. Thank you very much. Now back to the main desk. If you are participating in the costume contest today, make sure that you take a picture of your costume and submit it to the Schoology Dropbox made by Mrs. Hopkins. 
Today we are going to end with a quote from Mr. Marzok. It's so hard to say goodbye, but it's just as hard to say rural. It is act period one today. Have, Have a, a spooky, spooky day, day Ephrata. Ephrata.